Over 200,000 years ago, this area was a lake with depths up to 28 feet. When the lake bed dried up, the fairy shrimp went dormant under a blue-green algae layer and a hard clay soil. So the importance of the fairy shrimp out on the lake bed is that migrant birds that are flying from Canada south to their wintering grounds uh, often will stop here and will feed on those shrimp and that will provide the energy that will allow them to do that migration. To protect the lake bed and these species, we close the lake bed to all vehicle travel when wet. Hi, I'm Art Basulto. I'm a BLM Park Ranger for the Bureau of Land Management in Barstow Field Office. Today I'm out here at El Mirage Dry Lake Bed. I'm going to talk about a couple or a few events that go on out here. Some of the big ones are uh, rocketry, uh, wind sailing, uh, uh, gyrocopters. Also one of the big ones is the SCTA time trials which has been doing it for more than 50 years. One of the big reasons when the lake bed is closed after it rains is for safety. These people really, really expect the lake bed to be nice and smooth. If people get on it, it really damages the lake and it becomes a safety issue. All these uh, events really uh, need the lake bed to be really nice and smooth. So if we get on it when it's muddy, it kind of damages the lake bed and it kind of interferes with their events. So one of the resources that we protect out here is the Joshua tree. The Joshua tree provides very important habitat for a lot of the bird species that utilize this area. For, and they use it for nesting, they also use it for perching, for hunting. And so one of the things that we do to protect these older individuals is we put fencing around it so that it helps reduce the impacts from the OHV use out here. And one of the reasons that's very important is not only are these trees take a long time to develop, but also in this harsh environment out here, it's very hard for them to reproduce. So any of the individuals that we do have out here, we do want to try to protect as well as we can. The tortoise habitat located here at the visitor center is a perfect opportunity to show the public Basically, the desert tortoise. The chances of seeing one out in the wild are slim to none because they are an endangered species. Basically, it's a 2,500 square foot area designed specifically for the tortoise to have a friendly and safe atmosphere to live in. The tortoises are actually in mid-hibernation right now, but there are a variety of other species that utilize the area. Some of these species include bobcats, kit foxes, squirrels, scorpions, and ravens. The ravens are actually the tortoise's number one predator. One of the ways we can help protect the tortoises from the ravens is to make sure to pick up our trash so the ravens are not attracted to the area. A few more things that you can do to enjoy uh, Al Mirage Dry Lake Bed. Some of it is the OHV. We have two trails out it's the East Trail and the West Trail. If you see the score, you might see a scorpion or which is nocturnal, you might see a desert tortoise. One of the big things is the California king snake. If you see the wildlife, just let them be, let them take pictures. We have to coexist. We all have to get along to keep this place going. But one of the big things is I ask you guys and I beg you guys is to wear the proper equipment like the helmets and all the gears. Tell people where you're going and also just protect the animals, leave the animals alone and enjoy yourself here.